Hello everyone, I am Fixer and welcome to Test Drive where we take a game out for a spin to get a first impression and you let me know if you'd like to see more. And today we're going to kick the tires, not the tires, I, I guess the thrusters on Sable. So this is developed by Shedworks, published by Raw Fury. The demo just came out on Steam. There'll be a link down below if you want to play it yourself. And I strongly recommend you do so. I've already played through the demo. I've already recorded this. I do my intros after the fact these days. Anyways, this is a gorgeous game. It's got a unique art style, uh, a beautiful soundtrack. It's a coming of age game for a girl that's part of like this nomadic tribe. And she's got this like rite of passage that she needs to go to, go through. The soundtrack is done by a band called uh, Japanese Breakfast. I don't know anything about them, but the soundtrack is gorgeous. It is amazing. And they did a performance, or at least the singer did a performance at the um, at the Summer Games Fest, I think it was. One of the things where they where they introduced the game. I'll put a link down below for that too, because that also was, was beautiful. Anyways, I'm super excited about this game. I can't wait for it. And here's the demo gameplay. Is that floating? I saw something floating. Is that a scarab? There are things floating. I'm not sure what it is, though. It's a very pretty game. I'm not quite sure what my mask is, though. It's awfully strange, isn't it? Oh, her name's Sable. Oh, I can jump. Can I check? Can I crouch? No? standing there oh I didn't mean to press it all right did it close oh no 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 hold on I got it the the mouse is not bound to the screen do I need to full screen window nope that didn't work either oh that's not good don't tell me you you, you didn't bind the mouse to the, the screen All right, well, I'll, I'll do my best. This, this is, it's not good though. Cause you end up clicking stuff that's not on screen and it messes everything up. Move towards the wall of being climbing. All right, so there's my stamina bar. Wait, what? Do I not open? Oh god. Walked right by a ladder. Didn't even see it. Yeah, see, the problem is I'm gonna constantly worry. Oh, see the crouch. I don't like that. I like to control the crouch. Can I change that? No controls. You cannot change it. Control the crouch is pretty universal by at this point. It's so pretty, isn't it? Okay, so the problem is, I'm gonna misclick on lots of things, and it's just, it's going to be rough. But I'm gonna do my best. It usually tells me a game is designed with a controller in mind, and. They didn't do any testing on keyboard and mouse. 
Because if they did, they would realize within two minutes that it's a nightmare playing like this. Sprinting, hold on shift. Music's wonderful too. Ibex cam. Oh. There's just people living here like normal. I can feel little JD smiling behind her mask, just as I know she can feel the teeth bearing little grimace behind mine. I'm nervous, and she's softly, sweetly amused. In her eyes, I probably have very little to worry about. You know, you have nothing to worry about, don't you, Sable? Um. And yet, yet the WSD can't do this. This is mouse only? This is so weird. I don't know. I'm not worried. I tell her I'm not worried at all, and it's possibly the least convincing I've ever been. But I do know how you are. You're going to be nervous until you've started, and then you'll act like you've been doing it your whole life. You wouldn't even let me put you on the seat. You were so afraid. Your hands were like little claws gripping onto me. Is, is that my vehicle that she's talking about? But then I promised you it was going to be all right. I told you how much I loved riding my bike as a young woman, and how wonderful the wind felt through the fabric. And I remember thinking, just watching you tear over the sand. Look at her. She can do whatever she wants. Data reaches out and places a hand on the edge of my mask. And you can, Sable. I take a breath. Um. I don't know where to start. Data's story warns me, but I feel too overwhelmed to let it settle. I tell her with a sigh that I don't know where to begin. She chuckles. You'll need to talk to Halal and Driss. Driss should already have made the arrangements for your bike, and Halal will share something. Well, let's say as useful as it is fun. Hmm? After that, I suppose we'll see you off. I choose the wrong path. Ask JD what will become of me if I choose the wrong path. Whatever you decide, you do so with my blessing. So don't try using me as an excuse to come home early, eh? She knows me. And speak to Driss as well. I've told him to arrange your bike with Sizzo, but you know how he is. I have something to give you. A compass to help you on your journey. The same one I used in my gliding. An artifact, you might say. I take the device in my palm if it's naturally there, perfectly weighted and crafted. Each component slides together with incredible, satisfying precision. Thank you. Go on, go on, it's nearly time. Need to complete tasks for Halal and Driss. Okay, no problem. I do want to walk around and see what's up with people. Hello, who might you be? She looks out across the landscape. Zeki's shoulders sag a little. I don't know what she's thinking about. These people have interesting masks. Um, God. Again, that's with the mouse off the screen. So what are you looking at? Seki's voice is uh, weakly incredulous. I don't know how he's done it. Follow her gaze to a little speck in the distance, which I now understand is her daughter, Valeria. Is that her up there? Um, does she need help? Becky shakes her head. She shrugs. Parenting. I suppose I'll know more about that when I'm older. We have a short chat about nothing much in particular. I say goodbye to Zeki. Is there a zoom? No? Okay. I want to go up the tower too, but I want to check around the camp first. What is this thing? It's floating. It's a post box. Hello, Sable. 
Have a good day. All right, so I can get messages from there. I suppose if I find those out and about, I can receive messages from these people. As I approach Halal, they give me an enthusiastic wave. I've always appreciated Halal's verve and vigor, and on a day like this, I'm ready to match it. The touch of nerves for balance. Halal hands me a small round stone. As it nestles into my palm, I feel a warmth not borrowed from Halal's hands, but emanating from within. I run my thumb over it and find it softly electric, like static on cloth. Um, what is this? I try to sound less confused than I am, but ask Halal what this is. What I've just given you is a gliding stone. What do you feel? I tell Halal that I feel electricity. Doing it right. What you feel on that stone is openness. Gliding stones are vessels for the perpetual. They suck up its power like little sponges and hold it there for you to channel. Right now it's empty or dormant, waiting for you to fill it up. I ask how I can do this. Take it to the temple ruins at the edge of the canyon. You'll be able to activate it there. Well, claps their hands twice and bobs a little. I appreciate their good mood at a time like this. As I'm about to leave, Halal stops me. Oh, you haven't gotten your bike yet, have you? It's a bit of a trek to the temple, so go see Driss. He was meant to get that ready for you, yes? Quest start of Whispering Stones! Alright. So I need to take that to... Temple. Oh my gosh. Alright, can I change the sensitivity? Um... Right, that doesn't that wasn't enough because it didn't save wait a minute the hover is uh is there an apply button that i don't see it's not saving so down here it says close screen. Um, I'm guessing it's right click closes it, but right clicking is not doing anything. I don't know. It's definitely not saving though. It's a demo. Sometimes be like that. Is it getting darker? I feel like it got darker. I'll see Driss in a minute. I wanna go up here. I didn't see that before. This is a lot taller than I initially suspected it to be. Alright, I just stole this dude's money, I think. We have a nice chat together. And that was that. Can I fall off here? I can. Alright, I don't know if there's fall damage. Oh, I didn't I didn't want to do that. Alright, so I guess it's time to see Driss. Alright, where is Driss at anyways? What was the, wait, what was the key for the compass? There it is. This game is too pretty. I love it. I think it's, I don't know, I think it's beautiful. Though I've told myself not to be too eager, it's all I can do. Uh, it's all I can do not to race up to Triss. Well, will its name be, I wonder? How fast will it go? Will my legs feel sore or will I get used to it? Sable, or hello. How are you today? Asked Triss how he is. 
I let it hang there a moment, but I can't do it. I'm too keen, and the words spill out. I asked Tris if he might sort of possibly maybe have a bike for me. Bike. He yells it like it's an idea he just had. Your bike, yes, of course, right. Yes, your bike. That I was meant to, uh, that I prepared for you, because today is your... Gliding, yes. Chris nods along with me. My blood runs cold, has he forgotten? So what do you mean I arranged it for you? And a, um, well, sort of a tutorial for you? Um, a tutorial. Yes, exactly, a learning experience. I think about it and I've, and, uh, and find I've never had, uh, I've never heard of that part of the gliding. But Driss does seem earnest. Sort of. Driss, ge Driss gestures. Oh my god. So many j sounds and s sounds. To the sand cutter at his side. It's quite old and a little shabby. A tester if I've ever seen one. So what's the bike's name? Driss seems scandalized. Scandalized? Youngsters these days always asking questions. Now ride the bike through the ring and back. Um, obligatory Stargate joke. Don't lose your bike. When you're not riding it, your hover bike will appear as a blue icon on your compass. Come back after you drive the sand cutter through the ring. That a hookah. Leave it is. Oh, I love it. What is that up there? All the things I want to see. Is there is there a way to go faster? Oh, I didn't want to do that. Straight. Oh, okay. The vi the bike doesn't move very quick. I wonder if if it's something I can upgrade. Right? Also, it, it seems to pollute an awful lot. <laughs> I think I was strafing the entire way here. It's an on off button, apparently. I return to Driss, who somehow manages to seem caught off guard despite knowing I was coming. Sable, congratulations! How was your first pre glide ride? Any strange rattles? Unexplained hissing? Small fires? Uh, what do you mean, fires? Really, you'd notice if it were on fire, or even a little bit. Was that a possibility? Well, obviously it didn't happen, so I think we're fine. Um, is this bike dangerous? Uh, well... You already been by hello? Um, yeah. Nearly forgotten about hello, and... Thank Driss for the reminder before at least nudging him a little about his, the bike. I ask him if I'll still be getting one. My little errands! With my confidence in this exercise only lately tarnished, I thank Driss very much for his help and his bike, and I depart for Halal. I think, um... Wait. Do I need to go see Halal, or do I need to do Halal's quest? Because I, I figured I would need to do the quest. Uh, I need to complete task. Activate the gliding stone at the altar. Oh. Is that something I needed to do? Hold on. I feel like I gotta do the quest. So, where is... Can I... Follow quest. Ah, right. That's exactly what I was hoping to happen. Um, where's the altar at? Oh, I have to hold it down. Okay. Do I have to go up here?
think that's a yes. I think that's it up there. Isn't that pretty? Oh my god. Um, okay, so I parked down here, I guess. I'm gonna climb. Uh oh, this might be too tall for me. Do you get it back by sitting here? No. Oh wow, that was close. Just barely. <laughs> the music fixes this game perfectly. It fits it perfectly. It helps make this such an immersive world. I love it. Oh, well. That was deliberate. dangerous. Wait, do I get back up there? Or do I just keep moving forward? Oh, I think I just keep moving forward. Alright, this looks intense. So I put my gliding stone in here, and the stone thrums like the beat of a heart as I approach the altar. I'm exhilarated. I'm ready for Rohana to know me. I'm ready to know myself. just happened it's such a unique look isn't it oh, I love it switch chime know about her mask i want to know what all the things do why is her mask like that i want to know show halal the activated gliding stone so where are these wind chimes can i ask press an old space to glide me there oh i um i was already falling off that when, when that happened so i misjudged Okay, I can dig. So that's why all these things are here, so I can glide across them. All right, I feel ya. I wonder what's up there. I bet you it's... I wonder if... Okay, we're trying. I don't know if I have the energy to get up there or the stamina. 
I don't think I do. Yeah, I don't think I do. This dude's pretty awesome, too. What? I don't know what that noise is. What is this? A chum egg! Of course! Perfectly round and hard as a rock, these eggs seem to float with how light they are. There must be a good place to put these. Okay, I'll take your word for it. I think my ride is over this way, right? Just go straight to hello or do I explore a little bit I'm not sure there's gonna be much else for me to do wait is it that's not the starting area is it what is this We definitely need to explore this, right? I'm worried that if I go see Halal, then that ends the demo. So I'm going to explore this first. Worst case scenario, he sends me to this place, get an item I probably would already have. I explore it now. Maybe he'll want chum eggs or something. Sorry, crow. Oh, that was a mistake. Uh oh. Will I have the energy? Yeah, I'm fine. See the camera? I, I need more from the camera. I need to be able to move the camera around more. stairs how does how does a normal person get up here what if what if someone's got like a arthritis in their in their knee or something how do they get up here it's not very disability friendly oh and there it is i clicked off screen God. i'm really worried about accidentally shutting down my capture software also what's up here can i can i get up here Oh, you can. I have no idea what I just got from there, but whatever. Hello, crows. What is this? Automatic power supply. Atomic, not automatic. Only I could read. All right, well, power supplies are nice to have. What is up there? Can I get up in there? Oh, I can't climb that. get up in there then 
And what do I do with this power supply? I have a feeling Halal's going to send me here. Surely he gives me some kind of jetpack or something, maybe? So I can rocket up that tube, whatever that is? I don't know. Also, what's up here? Uh-oh, I clicked off my screen. I hope that's something they address. Because the game won't be playable long term without being able to have my mouse bound to the screen. this way. Nope, that's not a ledge? Okay, I thought it would be. Wait, what is that up there? I just smoke? Where's my vehicle? There it is. Oh! Oh no! I... I didn't mean to click it. I'm sorry. Well, if you want to read that, you can go back and pause it. That stinks. I didn't mean to do it. damage. I don't even know if it's something that I need to worry about. What is that? That looks like a boat. This also looks like a boat. Are we in, like, what used to be some sort of lake? So there's that. I want to check out what this is and then we're going to go back to Hall. spaceship am i leaving here there's nothing of use to be found in this ship but i notice a blinking light flashing on the dashboard of the cockpit oh 
A voice crackles from the machinery in front of me. It sounds like a recording. It's barely audible. The distinct sound of someone slapping somebody else's hand crackles out of the speakers. Concentrate! I don't think I have to remind you how much work it was to get this far. We're almost there. Some sort of mechanical adjustments seem to be being made. I hear the sound of three clicks. Buttons being pressed, perhaps? Yes, Ramen. Sound of a click and a loud grunt before a snapping sound. Oh, on Rohanna's mask, not that hard. You've torn it out. And then the sounds of someone cheering. It worked. We're flying. Okay, okay, let's focus. The thing is moving fast. We need to slow down a bit. Well, how do we do that, Ramen? Let me check what the machinist wrote down for us. Long pause. The whining static sound that started playing when the ship took off seems to be increasing in frequency. Ramen? That lever you just ripped out? Toma, that was how we slow this thing down. The recording cuts off there. Out of bed. I love everything about this game. Uh oh, a cutscene. I thought they were gonna snatch my bike. Saima, are you looking for a calibrator? I tell Saima I have no idea what she's talking about. Saima laughs at my irritation. I compose myself. I'm not going to give her the satisfaction. I'll give you the calibrator if I, I'll give it to you, but I, I want some beetles. It's a fair trade, isn't it? Something you want for something I want? Beetles. I stifle a sigh. Perhaps some of the adults in the camp uh, know where I can find some. Okay, we need beetles. What? That is large. All right. So with that side quest and the fact that it's sending me back to the camp, it makes me feel like now that Halal perhaps is not the end of the demo. So I'm going to head back. What is this? It's like a shop where he builds bikes. I love it. This is so cool. Alright. There are some really small inclines where she, like, jumps. And I feel like she shouldn't have to jump. She should just be able to run over them. Hello! I've done the thing. I could ask about catching beetles for Simon, that wretched child. Um, do you know where I can find some beetles? There's a nest of beetles just east of here. You can't just walk up to one and catch it, though. When I return to Halal, it's clear they know what, I, uh, what I've just experienced. They're excited on my behalf in a way that makes me miss them before I've even left. Isn't it incredible? How does it feel? Um... Exciting true freedom! I tell Hello that hovering is exciting and ramble for a moment about all the things I'll be able to do when I'm out of here, out there in the world. Right? You could do anything you want. Law's mood doesn't darken, but the sigh they let out holds a bit of sorrow. You're very lucky, you know. I miss it so much, that feeling. Just floating on the breeze. But I suppose it's best that it fades with age, huh? Or else I might uh, never have come back from my gliding. Just be out there heaving myself into chasms. That's my future. Um. Is that really what you do? They think about it. I know people manage to keep it up, but I don't know that I've got time to practice as much as they do. It takes a really serious focus. Law laughs, even if, if there is a bit of regret in it. I certainly haven't got that. Still, I suppose the gliding wouldn't mean much if it were all gains and no loss. I, mean, I think about that, but decide that there's already too much loss on my mind to consider it much further. I'm saying goodbye to my clan, my family, my home, my childhood. 
To lose the perpetual is a sacrifice for another time. You're going to love it out there, Sable. Even when you don't. My advice? Try to have fun. There's a lot to be said about ritual and independence and all of that out there, but the world's an easier place if you put joy first. I thank Halal for their advice and for their help and tell them I miss them. They'll be over before you know it. A warming and reassurance all in one. I say goodbye to Halal. Before I go, Halal judges towards the tower. It seems Sizzo wishes to see me before I leave the clan. All right, cool. Wait, I could still do the beetle thing, right? Yeah, I want to do the beetle thing first. So I want to comment on the on the way the, the dialogue system works. I really like the mix of like actual dialogue and then um. And then all the stuff that's supporting it, right? The feelings and the motion behind the dialogue, how it's going back and forth. So far, I feel like it's working really well. Um, so we're looking for beetles now. 